Hello everyone. In this short video, we will talk about the domain of neighborhood and built environments within the context of social determinants of health. The physical environments where we live and neighborhoods play an important role in our health and well-being. According to the Centen Corporation and Child Welfare League of America, across our American society, many individuals and families live in neighborhoods surrounded by violence, unsafe air or water, and immense risk to general safety. Continued exposure to these environments puts a greater risk on the health of individuals. The Centen Corporation makes note of ways in which neighborhoods and built environments can improve the health of our society. Individuals need proper access to healthy food and well-balanced meals. The risk of illness decreases when individuals can access and afford resources that benefit their health. Housing conditions also impact a person's health and must be addressed to improve chances of maintaining a healthier lifestyle. When we think about our homes and well-being, we may forget that not everyone has the same quality or living environment. There is a need to address air quality, such as safeties from dangers of molds and asbestos. Crime rates and violence are another factor that, when changed, can help improve the quality of life and health of individuals throughout our society. Overall, neighborhoods and built environments can be addressed as a social determinant of health when we reduce the harm and unsafe conditions individuals face in physical or social environments, we also help to reduce health disparities. Thank you for watching this video on understanding neighborhood and built environments within the context of social determinants of health.